right. Um, <clears throat> let's hope that we still wait for Cookie and Son and the Cosplayer to arrive so we can get started. Hello. I was going to ask you why I wasn't able to enter myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. We yeah, still wait for. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was saying thank you for. Oh, for never mind. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> but anyway, since we're still waiting for, we're still waiting for Sana and the cause. Oh, there it is. There, there it is. <laughs> oh, let's see. Are you, are you able to? Oh. Wait, oh, 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 there we go. I think you got it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Hi. There it is. Hello there, Sana the cosplayer. Okay, since it's now on 3.01 p.m., let's get started, shall we? Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, hang on. But anyway, hello, everyone. And welcome to the Q&A with Sonic the Cosplayer. I'm your host, Rainboom, and I'm here with, a, with my co-host, Cookie Star. Hi, and welcome. So anyway, Sonic the Cosplayer, how about... And why don't you introduce yourself? I think they muted. Sorry. I think oh, they're no. muted. Oh no. I am muted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Was like, oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, I know. Absolutely. I, I realized how very, very far I am behind on learning Discord. And I have just been spending the last like hour just trying to like Google and video and just it's, it's so much <laughs> that I'm trying. And it is, it is. <laughs> As simple thing <laughs> as trying okay. to do muting, <laughs> unmuting, and trying to figure out how. To, I'm like, you know what? I <laughs> all yeah, right. Hang on, wait a minute. One moment. They speed up, and I will get right on. One moment. Okie dokie. Take your time. <laughs> oh my god! Background noises. I'm sorry. <laughs> it. You're all, you're all good, Cookie. No worries. <laughs> I had to drink, drink more, more water because I need to stay hydrated. <laughs> so anyway, without further ado, uh, let's get started. All right, so uh, why don't you introduce yourself, Sonic Co the Cosplayer? All righty, can you guys hear me? Yep, Pretty we good. can hear yeah, you. Loud and clear. Fan fantastic, good. The AirPods didn't get squished into the suit. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, let's see if should be good too. So anyway, oh. So, why don't you introduce yourself there, Sonic the Cosplayer, since I already said it? <laughs> well, I'm Sonic the Cosplayer. I uh, live in Florida, which is probably the worst, one of the worst states to do uh, big giant suits in, but uh, I survived here <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> that is super nice, super n amazing indeed. <laughs> Yeah. So, Cookie, do you have a question to Sonic the Cosplayer? Oh, sure. Well, my first question will be, uh, since when you started to cosplay as Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh, let's see. I did <laughs> back in 2011, I believe. So, we're going on, what, 12 years now? 13 years now? Oh, wow. It has been a while, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's been, uh, I, <laughs> oh man, it has been a very fun decade for doing this. <laughs> oh, that's I'm awesome. On a video. <laughs> All right, good. It works. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> very cool. So, uh, I do have a uh, one question for you, assigning the cosplayer. Um, now that I'm curious, how many cosplayers do you have so far? You know, that was one of the things that I was trying to figure out how to like count fully on everything. And I have about 30. Seven like official ones, and I think it's like forty-two if you add like weird uh, like meme ones, just like off the cuff ones that I've done just for like a meme or a picture or something along that line. Wow, that's super cool! Yeah. So, <laughs> so, do you have another question, Cookie? Um, let's see. This is like a general question. Um. What is your current favorite Sonic game so far? Oh, current favorite Sonic game. Hmm. Honestly, right now, even though I, I have, if you've seen my post, I haven't been the uh, the best fan of the difficulty. But honestly, right now, it's honestly Superstars. Hey. 
Yeah. Awesome game. <laughs> It's it's it is a it is a very 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 good step in the right direction, and I hope that they just continue on that track for you know whenever they do make a new Sonic game and they they go to that classic route, they stay with that that current formula. Just you know, maybe make the bosses a little easier. <laughs> oh yeah, insane insane bosses for sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. But that's the fun that's the fun part of having challenging uh, bosses and stages. Because it makes you like do better decisions and play better. <laughs> it, you know, it absolutely does. And it reminded me of the original Sonic 2 boss where you were just fight, you had to fight the two bosses with no rings. And if you died, you had to continue. If you didn't have any continues, then you had to start the whole game over again. And I remember it, the, like the pattern recognition that was required in 1992. And I remember my mom and I, we, we, when we played that game, we had the whole, she wrote things down on a, um, post-it note to try to memorize now you know you, you could beat the, the the silver sonic and you know it, it's muscle memory at this point but i remember writing down the exact pattern recognition that he did like he would jump now now he would spin now he would jump and then shoot and then so it's all about pattern recognition for most of these things maybe i'm just getting yeah. old <laughs> <laughs> how about you rainbow another question for him um i do have another question for First, the Sonic the Cosplayer. Um, how did you? M- how exactly did you make all of the cosplays of yours? Well, let's see. Um, first, it was it. It started off as any any basic cosplayer would start off with was was just poster board. A lot of it was just a lot of my props were just typical cardboard or poster board, or just a little bit of craft foam here and there. And it was just I have a lot of weird creative knowledge that i have stocked up over the years and it helps when you're you're like all right i'm looking at a poster board but most people would see a poster board i see uh, the link field from legend of zelda and i can see a sonic sized version of that <laughs> Ooh, that was a very decent cool cosplayer that was yeah. very nice <laughs> Tell the fan automatically a win. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have another question, or do you want to go for the audience member? Well, we already have one from the audience member, so we see Dust. Come on right up. Hey, our good old buddy Dust. Hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm doing pretty well. Awesome, awesome. Oh, I also, before I, I ask this question, I feel you there, Sonic the Cosplayer, being in Florida with, uh, you know, something heavy on. I'm in Texas, so I completely feel you there. The heat is just, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you on that one. And it- <laughs> <laughs> Fun times there. But uh, my question is this. So... Out of every single cosplay that you have made, which one would you say was the most arduous one to make or the most difficult one to put together or make? Ooh. Okay, so there is two different types of difficulties for me. There's the type of difficulty where it is the... I require like a team almost to, to, to handle. And then there's the ones that are build. Uh, so the build is most likely probably my... Um, probably my Ghostbuster backpack. Without a doubt, because that required so much. It wasn't just building, uh, like playing with foam. I had to learn lights and sounds and Arduino boards and 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 coding and all sorts of stuff. Because when you turn it on, it plays the Sega to- so- tone and the emeralds light up and the whole thing. You know, it, it boots up just like it did in uh, the Ghostbusters movie, just you know, a little bit more sonicized. So that was a mm-hmm. lot of fun. But difficult. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. It's like and that's really, and I remember seeing that. I was just like, oh my god, this had to have been. It's like this had to have been. God knows how many months of work just to get just to get everything to function properly, especially with the circuits and everything. Thankfully, YouTube's or YouTube does a really good job of explaining a lot of this stuff. You just have to write find the right videos because a lot of times it's just kind of like a lot of people just you know chatting for like an hour before they have to get to it but once you get to it you kind of get like that understanding of being like all right cool so this button does this and this code does this and then you copy paste it it's kind of like beating a sonic boss it's a lot of um pattern recognition 
<laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, all right, that was my question. Uh, appreciate the answer. Uh, y'all enjoy the rest of the convention. Take care. <laughs> all right, Thank you too, Dust. You too, Dust. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, whose turn is it now? Let's uh, the Chatterverse. It's ooh. in their hand up. Let's see. Come on up, Shatter Star. Hi, welcome. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? doing? I'm doing pretty good. Just uh, hanging out, having fun. First time ever to the convention, so I'm really excited to be here. Good for you. So, yeah. so what was the question for you? Oh, um, sorry. Oh, words. Right, the question. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's fine. Over. Just um, lost my words. <laughs> Uh oh, we're having a uh oh Discord moment. Oh no. Oh no. Oh they're muted, that's why. Oh dear. <laughs> ah, see? The muted part. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were sorry about your... that. It's um, okay. What will be your question? Okay, so this is coming from somebody who normally does uh entertainment stuff myself. I'm curious, um, how does it feel whenever you go out in public and people just notice you instantly as Sonic and then and you just automatically brighten their day like they could be having a really bad day like you know things like oh, things are not really quite or my way or yeah words so um people could be like that and then as soon as they see you they're like oh my gosh it's Sonic and then automatically you could be like hey buddy way past cool and all that other jazz I mean, how does that make you feel? Because to me, honestly, it makes me get this really nice warm feeling inside that I'm slowly making the world a better place. So I'm wondering if you feel the same way. Honestly, the feeling is absolutely mutual. So usually whenever somebody is like, oh my God, it's Sonic. I'm usually like, oh my God, I'm bad. <laughs> and the feeling that the, 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 the bouncing of positive emotions between everything that when I usually go out or, or, or conventions or even public uh, events or whatever like that, <laughs> it's that same type of like, everything is just, there's, there's nothing negative it, except for the Florida heat. But other than that, there's nothing negative. You feel me about this. It is just that I know, I know everything right. feels like I, I can be doing this for like 13 hours. I can, <laughs> to be at a convention for 13 hours, walking yeah. around, doing anything like that. And I'm just like so tired. But if somebody runs up to me and is like, hi, I just, it doesn't matter how tired I am. It doesn't matter. How, I'm just like, like, I'm just overflowed with emotion. And I'm just like, cool. Granted, granted, right after that meeting, right after I high five it, I'm like, yeah, I might pass right out. <laughs> it's, so it's not necessarily for the faint of heart, but it does, uh, uh, it does make, it's, it's a very positive feeling. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. This, that answer your question. That's what I say. Good on you, man. I'm glad to know that I'm oh, not the absolutely, only feels yeah. Like. <laughs> absolutely. All right. Thank you for your uh, question, Shadow you Star. Uh, all righty. Yeah. Thank you for your question. All on the flip side. See ya. Bye bye. Thank you. All right. Looks like we have another hand raise. This is Beetle Ye. Come on up. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Nice to nice to meet you. Um Sonic the cosplayer. I have I have a huge question and I'm a, and I'm a huge fan of your work cuz I've seen it on TikTok and on Twitter. Uh, my question to you is if you if, did you make your did you make your own suit and if so how long did it how long did it take to make it? Well, that's a very good question. So I have made the suit uh the video is on right yeah i see you okay <laughs> i'm making all sorts of hand motions and i don't know if i'm just talking to absolutely not. so anyway yes i have made uh, this suit plus everything on the wall uh, back there plus uh, an assortment of um well you can't see the closet but there's a closet over there full of stuff and um so it about takes took about three months to kind of put this whole thing together um it is a lot of upholstery foam so when that goes on sale at like Joanne's or Michael's or something like that, that's, that's kind of when I hit up that stuff and try to hold on to that kind of stuff. Um, cause the material cost is, is crazy, but like when, when, and it's just in free time, so that, that like three months 
three and a half months wasn't like a nine to five type thing. So it was just like, it was an hour there. Sometimes I, w- I would go like a couple of days and not make anything. Sometimes I would be like, cool, we're going to burn the midnight oil and we're going to do a whole weekend out of it. So it was kind of, it's, <laughs> it's three months off and on ish. Yeah. Oh, nice. So was that answering your longer question? Longer or shorter, depending on, yeah. Yeah, yeah that does, that, that does. All right. <laughs> All right. So thanks. Thank you for your question, Bill Yi. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for your time. Thank you for your time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for your question. Okay, looks like we got another hand raise. Oh. All right. Bold the fluffy. Come right up. Hello. Hello. That was a voice Welcome. crack. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> that that suit looks so well detailed. I, I really like that. Thank you. Thank you. I, <laughs> it's a My lot of uh, a lot, mouth, lot of uh, actual mouth stuff. moving when you talk. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what will be your question, Bolt? So I know a lot of these crafting supplies come from like stores like Hobby Lobby, Michaels and all that. But I mean... Where would you get like most of the materials from? Like I know Hobby Lobby is closed on Sundays. Well, a lot of my material. Well, a lot of my materials is Michaels, unless it's foam, like the upholstery foam, um, because foam foam is usually eBay or a cosplay store, or something where it's like that kind of the EDA foam, hard foam, like my props are made out of. But my the upholstery foam is usually Joann's or some sort of Amazon online store. Um. But most mostly it's Michael's. I have quite a bit of time spent inside Michael's. <laughs> yeah, that'll be my question, and I'll just go back down here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your question, Bull of the Blue Wolf. <laughs> Was sent to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese and quackers. <laughs> oh, you can thank True for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you want to, if any of you guys have to want to raise their hands or, or text on a question on the, on the chrono stage room text. Should I ask one? Right, In the meantime, it, it until everybody uh, sure. feels more comfortable. <laughs> well, okay. So I have another question. Uh, this is like a general one. Besides Sonic, do you love any other franchise? <laughs> um, okay. So um, growing up, I watched all of Dragon Ball Z. So those kind of usually go hand in hand with our fandom, but Dragon Ball Z is a huge one. Um, another one is a, it, it's super obscure. Well, it, it wasn't obscure in the early 2000s, but it is obscure now with Jack and Daxter. I don't know if you guys ever played those games, heard of those games, the old PlayStation two games. Um, huge fan of those games, that universe and everything like that. But mainly it's, as far as my knowledge base is, is goes into, I mean, I'm a fan of a lot of things because I cosplay, you know, but pretty much everything I've cosplayed, I'm a fan of, played the games, watched the movies, TV shows, whatever it is. But um, as far as like the knowledge, it's Sonic and Dragon Ball Z. Like, so that's like right there, hand in hand, as far as like fan of knowledge of kind of uh, thing. <laughs> basically basically you're saying sonic twice because one of them is human and the other one is a you know an, a hedgehog <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah i i know it's it's kind of one of those things where it's just like oh well both have super saiyan both have super sonic it, it, it's it's there's a, there's seven emeralds seven dragon balls i mean there the similarities can go it's it was kind of one of those things where when i left uh like middle school i had like a little um uh, like an after school program type thing. And what they had on there was Toonami and it was old school Dragon Ball Z. And it was just something I just watched. I uh, every day, like it was an everyday few hour thing every day after school type thing for five days a week, uh, 30 weeks out of the year, et cetera. And so forth. So <laughs> it's a lot of, a lot of Dragon Ball. That was, that was basically me when I was a child, like around five, six. It always when was me like coming back from school and the first thing that I seen cut to nowhere was Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, it was it was I was trying to, a lot of people, you know, be like, oh, you watch Dragon Ball Z. What, what, how about this anime and this anime? And I did watch a lot of, you know, I've, I've watched a lot of animes, I've, but I've 
But as far as like what had that grip on me, I was like, this, this does. <laughs> yeah. Well, that will be my question for now. How about you, Rainbow? You have one? Well, I do recently have my another question directly to Sonic the Cosplayer. Um, what was your most favorite game about soundtrack about Sonic franchise? It can be anything. About the entire Sonic franchise? Yeah, the the oh. the uh, <laughs> Um <laughs> it's that's a lot. I would say right now oh. <laughs> Um I'm looking around the room like that's going to give me answers. That's not going to give me answers. Um, <laughs> right now, probably, probably the movies. Probably the movies are my go-to, like just just most hype that I've that I've gotten that I've felt over Sonic for a while. I mean, games and the the, the symphony, the, the merch and shows. The Sonic Prime is up there also, but like the movies, I, I've I that's just I was at the uh, the premiere for Sonic Two and that. That end scene with Shadow garnered as much screaming as most like Marvel Cinematic Universe like mid credit scenes. Like and that's the level of hype that I am with these movies. So like I can understand all the screaming. <laughs> uh, as somebody who actually went to the fan premiere myself, I can tell you that in, in the theater that I was, everybody went insane with Shadow. Like everybody was screaming, crying, and possibly just falling in love. <laughs> and it wasn't even sh it wasn't even just the, the reveal of shadow it was just the officer saying 50 years ago and it was yeah that 50 that was, years that's when the screaming <laughs> started happening <laughs> yeah that, that was like yeah, the the one part that everybody just lose their mind <laughs> yeah because for the longest time i thought we were going to get metal sonic i thought the entire time during sonic 1 and sonic 2 he's been recording the information of Sonic battling his friends and everything like that. Robotnik has been secretly recording the information and he was going to pass it over to Stone and Stone was going to download that information into basically what would become Metal Sonic. But then they dropped the shadow news on me and I was like, you know what? I'll take that too. Yeah. That's I mean, we can still Metal hope. We, we're having injury, the third movie, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can still hope. Honestly, Maybe Amy or, or Metal Sonic. Yeah. I would love to do that. I, I would have absolutely no problem. My personal fan theory on it is it's going to be Sonic and Shadow. They're going to be, you know, button heads and doing their whole nine yards. But instead of it being against the final hazard, which is on the arc, it's going to be against the Metal Overlord because it's going to be Metal Sonic that's going to be the final bad guy. So it's going to be the two of them versus that big thing. That's my personal fan theory. That's probably not going to happen, but it happens in my head. Imagine if, if, if you're foreshadowing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I did foreshadow the opening for Sonic 2 and that was an accidental tweet because I thought it was a funny thing and I got the entire opening correct on, a, on one tweet and it just so hey you know every now and then sometimes I've, I drop a bit of future knowledge Apollo it's, it's Apollo <laughs> <laughs> indeed <laughs> All right. Uh, we see somebody has their hand raised. Kel Sophia, come on right up. What's up, Hello. Kel? Hello. Hello. Hi, Kelsey. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Sonic the Cosplayer. Hello. Yeah, awesome to awesome to meet you for the first time. Um uh, love love the suit, by the way. Looks very looks really good. Absolutely love it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So my question is um it's kind of a bit of a two-parter. Um, so I'll just say like the first part of it first, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. sure. It'd be like kind of like an act one, act two. Yeah. So the first part of my question is, um, what was the first cosplay suit? Like, what was like the first suit that you had made? Uh, and or yeah, just like just like I guess there was a little bit, but I'm just gonna say that one part. But um, what was the first um suit that you made? Uh, it was the, it was it's hanging up on the wall over there. But the the cosplay itself was Mario Sonic because I felt that it was the first thing to to at first before I was even called Sonic the cosplayer. I was just called Mario Sonic because that was the first thing I thought of. I didn't come up with the actual name for it yet because I was just like, you know what? There's there's a lot of cosplayers that are Sonic, but none of them usually cross. It, kind of like it, like if you were Sonic cosplaying something. So that was the first thing was is I got. I saw overalls at Walmart and I was just like, I got it. I got it. Perfect. 
did the whole the overalls the the, the hat got bought a hat at uh, I, I don't know where i bought that mario hat but i bought that mario hat built a big mustache for it and yeah i was mario sonic for like a year and a half before i actually created the persona of all of this hmm. Ooh, that's interesting um all right so for the second part of my question um in between your like first suit and like and like your most recently made suit, um, what's one thing that you learned on or it or improved the most on, in your opinion? The one thing I've improved the most vision. <laughs> vision. <laughs> I know it doesn't. Uh, so so these are they're they're right against my eyes, so I can see everything. Like I can see from like. Oh, you, camera's kind of out there but like right here to literally right here like in everything my other suit if you ever saw video of me walking i would walk like this because i would need the 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 eyes were too far apart and that was one of the things i didn't realize because i was just like oh because when you're facing a camera it looks like you're facing the camera what i'm actually doing is i'm turning towards it so i can walk in a straight line because if i didn't i the amount of people I'm telling you that I've accidentally run over and hit and need and stepped on because I can't see is uh, uh, your gain a mascot sixth sense is what I call it is basically you start to you start to feel people around you where you're like cool I'm gonna step over that backpack that's lying on the floor because I know that that's there because I saw it like 15 feet ago so vision is definitely the update that I've made and I would heavily say that if anybody who does make these type of things definitely see or else you're going to need an army of handlers because everybody's going to be like the, the official sonic suit the official sonic suit can't see <laughs> oh that's why they always that's usually why he's staying in one spot or he's kind of walking around for like a straight line and there's usually handlers on him because he can't see ah oh, that's very interesting to know uh thank you so much for answering my question you are very welcome thank you for your question gas supplier yeah, yeah thanks for the question Kels. Yeah, no problem. Y'all enjoy the rest of Sonic Rebel. You too. too. Take care. Yee. You know, fun fact, the reason I started following you, it was because of the whole Mario and Sonic cosplaying thing. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, was legit my it only was, reason. It first, <laughs> yeah, it was Sonic oh, the yes, cosplay, or it, it was just Sonic Mario. That's all I was, was just Sonic Mario, Sonic Mario, Sonic Mario. And then I did Sonic Goku. And then it was like, hey, I know you. Didn't you do that Sonic Mario? And I was like, yes, I'm that same guy. And then it just kind of grew. And I was like, I need a name because I can't just be like, hey, I'm Sonic Mario. Hey, I'm Sonic Goku. I was like, this sounds dumb. <laughs> so let me try to figure out. And then it just all oh, flew off the tongue of Sonic the Hedgehog, who cosplays Sonic, cosplayer, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the cos, Sonic the. And then it was just boom. And then I went on social media and took all of it. It doesn't matter what it is. I took it. It always is like, cool. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, Twitch, YouTube. I don't care what it is. It's taking it off. All right. But yeah, it's seriously cool. That was l like literally my favorite. The reason why I started to like follow you. I was like, yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> oh, yeah. Same here. <laughs> All right. Do you have a question for Sonic the Cosplayer Rainbow? Oh, oh boy, that's a lot of questions I had in mind. So to Sonic the Cosplayer, did you have any particular your favorite Sonic shows? Ooh, um, a favorite show, uh, maybe not, but each show had their own in my, like, that AM was, it's, it's still up there on terms of like, but in terms of just, kind of casually watching Sonic Boom 100%. 100%. Like, I can just sit down and watch Sonic Boom for, like, honestly, seven episodes, eight episodes, just straight. Granted, because usually they're short, but it's just a really nice, casual, funny watch. You're like, you can watch it on random, you can watch it, you can watch it, in, it, it I mean, it doesn't matter, none of them are really story-based, except for a couple. But, and then, however, Sonic Prime is, that is, if they're going where I think they're going to end up going with that, I'm. That might be a new one over that AM. So don't tell anybody I said that. Don't worry, no. your security's safe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no need to worry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, 
Let's wait for another person. And in the meantime, I have another one. Uh, let's see. This is another general question uh, in regards to Sonic. What is your favorite food? B All right. Besides so pretty much box. anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty much any any breakfast item. So if it's if it's breakfast, that. Yeah. So if it's if it, it it's pretty much probably French toast. French toast is probably. I mean, yeah, you, you, pizza, burgers, and stuff like that. Yeah, they're all, but like consistently, I could have breakfast for dinner a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> as in break dinner? Oh, I think, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Break dinner, as in breakfast and dinner together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Like I've done that quite a bit. I've done breakfast for dinner more times than I've had, well, not more times than I've had dinner, dinner, but more times than I could count, to be honest. All right. Rainbow, do you have another question for Sonic the Cosplayer? Hmm. I think... Uh, mm, okay, so I have two another question for you, Sonic Cosplayer. Um, what your mo most favorite Sonic character? Besides Sonic? <laughs> uh, yeah, your most favorite Sonic character. Um, well... Sonic, obviously, but uh, the, honestly, the second favorite one is easily Metal Sonic. Easily. Easily, the number two is Metal Sonic. I love his character. I love his flaws. I love his just his generalized story and almost every single type of media. Definitely Metal Sonic is my... If it wasn't for Sonic, it would be him. Easily. Nice. And also, we got another hand raise. That's Silver. Come on up. Hello, and hello, Silver. Another. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Sonic the Cosplay. Hello. Hello, it was nice to meet you. Um, I have a quick question. Um, sorry, I'm kind of shy. But um, would okay, you want to do another, another like cosplay besides Sonic, or are you just gonna like keep at it with the Sonic the Cosplayer thing? Like, would well, you want, like you know yeah. you said? Like, Sonic is your favorite? Like, would you want to do Metal Sonic the cosplayer or something? Well, as far as, like, maybe another character, the cosplayer, probably not. But I have done a few other cosplays, but nobody would ever know because it's usually my face and or, or it's a different face or whatever like that. So nobody's ever <laughs> usually known that. But having that yeah. been said, there are a few Sonic Eye stuff that's not Sonic that I would love to make. One of those is, yes, a a mecha or metal Sonic, or to be honest, a goal for me to build would be a Death Egg robot. And I'm talking about like a 10 foot Death Egg robot, like Ooh, something that's that just like, you have to get cool. like a car to roll into that thing. <laughs> yeah, that sounds cool. That's, that's really cool. Would you also want to do like a uh, Super Sonic, the cosplay? Well, I've done the most I can do for that. I would have to build an entire suit off that. And I kind of, I kind of cheated off of that one because I did, I dressed up as Superman as Sonic, and that was me being supersonic, and people got the joke, but as far as building a supersonic, the only way I'd have to be able to do that is I'd have to build another suit that also was a supersonic, which, honestly, I don't think I've ever seen. Oh, there you go. I don't think I've seen, like, a whole yeah, yeah. suit of supersonic, now that, I'm, now that I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I may have to write that one down. Oh, there you go. All right, Eva, that was my question. It was nice to meet you, though. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. Thank you for your question, Silver. Thanks for the Thank question, you. Silver. All right. We have another one. Would you like to choose the next one, Rainbow? Sure. All right. Let's make this person come on up. Pristalnik. Did I pronounce Pristal it right? Pristalnik. 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 Hey. Hey. How you doing? Oh my god, I just forgot the question. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh a little bit to your profile picture because it's so funny. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> That's a pretty cool, funny profile pic. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so good. So for oh, Sonic, I, question. I uh, got a question. So, um, ah, nuts. <laughs> What is your process towards uh, what is your process towards your costume creations? A lot of 
staring into the abyss with coffee. No, okay. No, um, it, it's, it, it literally is because it, it, I feel like it is sometimes because like, okay, so, so take the Captain America uh, shield behind me right there. So it's got Sonic yeah. on the, the star, but it was one of those things where I was just like, when I made Captain America Sonic, it was just like, I was like, cool. How do I, how do I make the shield? What do I do about the shield? And it was literally staring at a Captain America shield for I don't know how long before it just like materializes. I don't know if I hallucinate it. I don't know what it is, but like it materializes into I'm like, oh, there it is. And then you see the Sonic in the star. It makes absolutely no sense to anybody when you try to explain it. But then you show it to them and you're like, oh, okay, I get it. But like that type of mindset. So it's like, oh, well, what, what's the what's the mindset? I, the mindset is literally I know so much about Sonic and there's so much creative buffoonery that just kind of rolls around in here that it's just like it's like oh how'd you make a ghostbuster outfit i um that's like the worst part is it's like oh can you show me how to make this i'm like no because unfortunately i can't show myself how to make this because it just happens which is oh, no, a really I, good I answer as far as that, that but it's kind of like, oh i'm sorry hold on let me get, <laughs> let me let me let you finish your thought i'm sorry <laughs> No, that was just me laughing. There's not really a thought there. <laughs> oh no, I but I completely understand. I completely understand because it's the same way with with pin designs and everything. So I completely get it. But which, it, it, thank you for answering by my the way, question. <laughs> love, which by the way, love your pins. Absolutely love your pins. They're sitting on my little pin board oh, right over here on the other side here. <laughs> I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, everybody. He makes. Definitely, definitely doing a definitely doing a shout out. This guy makes really good pins. Just letting you know. As long as you have your pin of that Sonic picture that you have, I'll officially buy that. Please, thank you. <laughs> um, <I'm considering> <laughs> Honestly, make two, make two. That way. All right, yeah. sure that. I'm working on that one. <laughs> I'm- I'm sorry. Uh, I'm honestly working on getting the Etsy shop back up. I'm just trying to figure out how to do pre-orders right now. <laughs> all right. So, thank you for your question, Pro Stalnik. Oh, uh, it's no problem at all. I shall leave back into the stage. We. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. So let's see, Raymond. Do you have another question? For Sonic the cosplayer? Uh, let's see. Um, oh, yeah. To Sonic the cosplayer, what was your favorite Sonic comic? It could be like uh, the Archie uh, or the IDW or the Sonic the comic. I'm so I did not read any of the Sonic the comics. I know my UK brethren has constantly tried to get me to do it and I have not done it yet, so I apologize. But, um, I grew up with the Archie, obviously. Um, but I will say, as probably most will agree, the Metal Virus Saga for the IDW is probably one of the best sagas in not in Sonic history, in comic history. Like straight up, not even gonna like, not gonna lie, not gonna, not gonna toot that. No, just the the Metal Virus Saga in IDW is probably top tier along with. Uh, like just Marvel or DC stuff. Like it, it that is the, one of the greatest sagas. But I grew up with Archie. The best so zombie related. A lot yeah, of the best zombie related. <laughs> <laughs> just All the right. way it conveyed emotion across multiple things. I mean, it, it even made Cream look like, like have just an emotion past like a five year old. <laughs> yeah, that's really great. I, I personally love as well uh, the Metal Virus uh, arc. It's really amazing. Like, it, they literally did, like, the best interpretation of how a zombie apocalypse would look like in a Sonic universe. Exactly. And they made it so it, it made it affect everybody. So you got to see all the characters affect it. It was just... And honestly, it was another, it was another really cool Metal Sonic moment as well. Because he, when he tried to dip his finger into it, he was just like, I don't know. Because he thinks, again, he, he thinks he's Sonic. So he's like, cool. But why doesn't this affect me? And he has this, like, almost emotional breakdown of being like... I'm not Sonic. Yeah, basically really feeling nice like, oh, oh, well, I, I cannot be infected. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. So, Rainbow, um, do you have another question or should I ask another one? Oh, no, we're having a Discord moment. All right. So, I'll ask my question. Um, let's see here. Uh, maybe you probably haven't played so many games because you already said that 
you don't uh you only have been into dragon ball and sonic but uh so far and if you have the chance have you played any mario games lately like which one has been your favorite to catch your attention like like wonder yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Oh my god, yes. Even though I am <laughs> yeah, even though even though I am I am obviously saw the cosplayer. My first one, my first cosplay was Mario. I'm not gonna lie, I've I very much grew up with Sonic. I I, I had the Genesis in nineteen ninety one. It's been that ever since. Every now and then I pick up something like a sixty four or a GameCube. So it's one of those things where I have played, you know, I have a Wii, a Wii U, so I have the the uh, Mario Galaxy, Mario Sunshine, Mario the Super Mario Brothers, the new Super Mario, Super Mario World, blah 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 blah, and I I'm a fan. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a fan. I'm I enjoy their polish. I enjoy their their gameplay. I their story is is it, but you know they, they haven't really not too much with that one. But it's you you you're not watching a movie. You're playing a game, so it's, the gameplay is more almost more important. So. I'm I'm a huge fan of those type of games as well. Paper Mario, Paper Mario is deeper. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you rec you recognize Sunshine and Galaxy. You have my respect. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah. I like Galaxy more than except for Odyssey. A huge huge fan of Odyssey. It was 3D World. 3D World probably was my favorite one for a while. Um, over Galaxy. Because Galaxy used to be my favorite one all around. Galaxy's soundtrack is so beautiful. Like, oh my god. It makes anybody cry. Me included. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rainbow. Do you have any questions for Sonic the Cosplayer? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you have any any favorite of your your favorite Sonic villain? Hmm. <laughs> favorite Sonic villain. Um. Man. Uh. Take your time. Favorite Sonic villain. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Wow, I didn't. Huh. <laughs> I didn't think about this. Um. Because I mean, there's like, there's something obviously Robotnik, and then there's Metal Sonic, Megatonic, Metal Overlord, and stuff like that, and then there's like. Because a lot of his villains don't stay villains. They're usually dead or they're, they turn like silver or shadow or knuckles or whatever like that. So it's kind of like one of those things where it's like when you have the other ones where it's like chaos or Gaia or whatever like that, they're usually just, so, I mean, honestly, if it, it for ones that I, regardless of what happens to them, honestly, I, I know I, it, it may be controversial, maybe not. I have no idea. Infinite. Infinite is probably my most, maybe because he, 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 I don't feel like he was fleshed out enough and I want to see more of him because I definitely do. But Infinite is probably easily my favorite of the Sonic villains. That I, I felt like stayed a villain, even though we don't actually know what happened to him. I, I, oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, Infinite, Infinite's great. I Indeed. wish he could have, he could have stayed more. <laughs> also, Starline is a yeah, great I villain too. <gasps> yes. Star Starline, <laughs> Starline, and Mimic. Starline and Mimic are are also really up there, especially Mimic, because I feel like he could do a lot of damage if they if they flesh him out more and they and they continue to bring him into more uh, storylines. But I would yeah. love for them to see where they went with 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 Infinite, because even if he just if, if let's say he didn't have the Phantom Ruby. They destroyed it all after forces and mania and blah 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 blah. Cool. He wasn't an all, he wasn't an all powerful god like he was in forces, but just even a jackal, just just infinite. The jackal was just enough to kind of be a um like a paint, not like Fang is currently in Superstars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we still have a few more minutes. So, do you like to ask another question, Rainbow? Uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh hmm. I try to think of another question. Uh, think faster. <laughs> I, I'm thinking faster. I'm thinking faster. Uh, 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 oh, wait, I got it. Uh, what was your, your least 
favorite Sonic character? Whoa. Least favorite Sonic character. All right. So we're going to start some stuff tonight. Okay. Least favorite Sonic character. Um, ooh, uh, in terms of, I feel like either there's like necessity and annoyance. <laughs> That's kind of one of those things. Um, God, I'm going to get so much flag for this. Uh, Big the cat. I know. No, I know. There's a lot. No. Of, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I, I mean, I mean, big, big the cat is such an adorable cat. Even Sonic himself <laughs> likes it. Yeah. <laughs> Confirm us by Sega. I, I just. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of yeah, I just I I I like him. I just don't like him as much and so, so out of all the characters he's my least right next to charmy right next to charmy but like in terms of just like i i just i'm like i i i, I i'm not a hundred percent on the appeal of him but that's me like i said i know i'm gonna get black for this no <laughs> mm-hmm. i was kind of i was i think i, I was, I was like partially worried that i was gonna see <laughs> <laughs> I was partially worried that I was going to start seeing a bunch of hands show up and be like, oh, I want to speak, I want to speak. What are you doing? I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, my only complaint for Big is like he's not appearing as many, as many things besides Sonic Prime. But yeah, he needs more time, needs more screen time. He's best boy. <laughs> yeah. Personally, if they are going to do anything with them, I liked what they did in Frontiers, where they gave him a, just a fishing thing. Like, if they're going to give him that, like, give him, like, kind of one of those, just almost like a side game, so to speak. Maybe not the whole game, but, like, that type of side thing like they did in Frontiers was honestly what I liked. I, I enjoyed that. Yeah, it, as a relaxation kind of thing, like, when you're dealing with so many stuff and, you know, the Starfall Islands, and then you go there and just relax. That's the best thing ever. Yeah, it is because I was, I, I was, I enjoyed running around uh, in Frontiers, just kind of listening to the music and listening to the pitter patter of the feet or whatever like that, and being like, "Oh man, this is like kind of soothing. This is nice. This is whatever like that." And then I would accidentally run into something like the squid or the centipede or whatever like that or the caterpillar. And I'm just like, and there went the, there went the good vibes. The good vibes are, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if anybody likes to ask another question to Sonny the cosplayer this is your time everybody mm-hmm. please just make sure to raise your hand or text in your question in the colonel's room text chat yep oh Doodle. wow I've been talking for an hour oh my god wow time flies I know right time passed by this is another meaning that that Time is, is slow to... Wait, no, it's faster to us, but it's slower to Sonic. <laughs> I wish the time would go slow and then going fast. Maybe because the time <laughs> changed it again. It yeah. Changed, you know, the time just changed again and we haven't even noticed. Yeah, and that's why we <laughs> live on the different, different time zones for some reason. <laughs> yeah. So while another person uh, gets comfortable asking... I'll give my other questions for now. So this is uh, for me. uh, Well, not for me. Sorry. (laughs) So another question for you, Sonny, the cosplayer, is um, let's just say, how would you feel like, for example, if you ever had gone to an in-person convention, uh, how do you felt for the first time when you first time uh, started cosplaying as Sonic? How do you felt when everybody was just approaching you and, you know, just getting hyped, seeing Sonic in there? So I called it the Disney effect. I think that's what I officially called it. It's when you, if you've, you've been in like a theme park and you see like the big, like the character, or whatever like that. And there's like a line that forms. So when I went to Megacon Orlando, it was a, a big convention in Florida. And it was, I... <laughs> I didn't even get through the front door and people were just like, and there was, you know, there's a couple photos here and there, whatever like that. And I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is, this is all right. I, let, let's do some poses, like do some Mario poses, some Sonic poses, kind of, I'm like kind of feeling for it and for it out. And I remember going into the vendor room and I remember being there for an hour and a half and I hadn't moved. Like I hadn't moved at all. Like it was just, and I looked over and there was a line 
there was a lot like they were the people were just like oh yeah okay okay yeah you're next you're next and i'm like who's next who's and then i look down and there's just a line of just kids kids and parents are just like and i was like as soon as i realized what had ha- happened i was like wait are you guys and i'm looking around for like somebody else i was like oh no you guys are all here for me and i was like okay so we're just going to kind of make the same pose and i'm just going to sit here for like <laughs> until somebody tells like taps me to be like hey man you're standing in the middle of the room. You can leave. Like, but that was kind of one of those things where it was an initial response of being like, I was like, cause I thought it was a cool idea to be like, Hey, I'm Sonic dressed up as Mario. It was kind of like, all right, this is kind of, it, it, you know, it's interesting. I've, I've never seen this before. It, let's see how this plays out. And it, 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 it played out. <laughs> it took off. And it was, I kind of had one of those, uh, there was a couple times when, um, when I didn't have a handler at first, it became kind of like a, a ring of doom is what I called it, where it was basically, I can't see behind me. I could barely see my peripherals. Well, in my other student, I couldn't even see from my peripherals. But in a circle, uh, there was a couple times where people would be like, oh, he's, he's standing here. So let's take a picture of him. Let's ask him to turn around. But I turn around and then somebody else would have a picture around and it would just become like a circle of just people like having me from like different directions. Eventually, thankfully, I ended up getting a, a handler, uh, a few handlers, and it was one of those things where people would be like, hey, I can see, I can talk to him or whatever like that. And it was kind of wrangling a lot better rather than just having the chaos of a convention. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I did uh, cosplay as Amy in New York Comic Con, and my God, that was wow. <laughs> Nobody left me alone. <laughs> oh, I can only... Yeah, I can only imagine like a like MegaCon was MegaCon a huge convention, but I can only imagine things like San Diego Comic Con or New York Comic Con or Dragon Con or something like that. Or if I like showed up as like a a Sonic Doctor Strange and I was just kind of like doing the ring thing, kind of like how the ring portals work in the movies and the ring portals work in his movies, and I was just like kind of it makes a little bit of sense. That's one of my cosplays, by the way. I can get this. <laughs> um. But it was kind of one of those things, like, if I showed up at, like, San Diego Comic-Con as, like, Sonic Doctor Strange, I'd be like, cool, I don't think I'm going to move for, like, the next five hours. I might as well just be really comfortable right here in this lobby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, we run out of time since we only got the 4, 4 p.m. marks. Was there any final words you would like to have before we wrap this up? Well, you know what? Honestly, thank you guys for having me. Thank you. This is This was... I enjoy, I really enjoy doing this. I absolutely really enjoy doing this, especially when I have a really nice AC of the, uh, of my office. <laughs> so it is, it is, it's something I, it, this, this was fun. This was very, there, this was almost needed, so to speak. This is a lot of times I work from home. So there's not a lot of like, I don't go to a lot of conventions recently. So it's kind of one of those things where it's nice to have conversations and, and, and be in this suit and everything like that. So it's, it's really nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so the next panel is going to be a Q&A with Sonic Villains. It's going to be hosted by Calypso and Dolly. So we will see you all there. Also, thank you all for coming there. So we'll see you all later. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice time in the Uh, Sonic Revolution. Bye, Nara Gamers. I hope you have a great time on Sonic Rebel Convention online. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.